So file sharing between an iPhone and a Mac just got easier with iOS 18.1 beta 5 and the most up-to-date Mac OS beta. So what they did now, if you are mirroring your iPhone, it is now going to allow you to drag and drop files on your Mac right into that mirror display for your iPhone. It is super quick and easy. I wanna show you how to set it up really quick and how seamless the process is. This is gonna save a lot of people some headaches for transferring files. Although I will say this is still gonna be available in parallel to AirDrop. So if you don't wanna to have to simply mirror your display and do all that, you can just AirDrop these same files over. There will be certain uh, scenarios where you will want to actually drag and drop. But again, this isn't the end all be all. AirPlay, excuse me, AirDrop might still be the easiest way to go about it. You guys let me know in the comments down below, which would you prefer and what would your use case be for why you would want to actually drag and drop files. So let's start off on our Mac and what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into system settings first and then look on the left side here for desktop and dock. And in here, once you scroll down, you're gonna look for widgets. And the second to last one will say iPhone and it lets you know this iPhone will be used for iPhone mirroring and widgets and use this as needed. So it is as simple as that. Now, once you close out of that, you have your iPhone mirroring icon down here and you're gonna be able to click right on that and it's giving you uh, basically a breakdown, a little splash screen of what you can do with your iPhone on your Mac. So you can quick access your iPhone apps, view and act on notifications and just you know telling you you don't need to reach your iPhone, you can do everything you need on your desktop. It's letting you know you can move photos, documents and more from iPhone to Mac or vice versa. So we're gonna go ahead and say continue here and it's going to want us to unlock our phone and I'll show you what that looks like on there. So as you can see, it says enable iPhone mirroring. So we're gonna go ahead and put our password in. And once we do that, as you can see, it says allow notifications from iPhone. If you want to do that, you can and then it's already ready to use. So we're gonna go ahead and say, get started. And this is obviously your display for your mirroring. A quick call out, this will not work if your iPhone is not locked. So we will go ahead and have to lock our display here and type in our password or use pass ID, touch ID I should say, and you can see our screen is now mirrored. You can scroll, this is nothing new here, but if you want to transfer a screenshot, you can click in your Photos app and simply drag whatever you want over and drop it in, and you should see a new logo for your item you drop. So it's the latest item right here, or you can see it in recent days, it will pull up here as well. This is just a screenshot showing how ridiculous the uh, NFL Sunday ticket prices are, but it is that easy to do and you can see we're done. So it literally is that easy to actually transfer files from your iPhone to your Mac or vice versa like we said. Leave a comment down below. Do you find good use cases for this or would you rather use AirDrop? Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.